Autotrophic nutrition is performed by plants, some algae and bacteria. So the organisms which synthesize their own food from simple substances to complex substances like carbohydrates is called autotrophic nutrition. They are able to synthesize their own food. They are not depending on other organisms. This is also called photosynthesis. Generally, green plants using carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water obtained from the root system. Carbon dioxide is reduced by water in the presence of light energy. It is converted into carbohydrates and during this process oxygen is released into the atmosphere. So let us see the process of photosynthesis. Plants with the help of root system they absorb water into the leaf surface and leaf is the main site of photosynthesis. Using light energy obtained from the sun and carbon dioxide from atmosphere, the CO2 is reduced by water to form carbohydrates. See this carbohydrate, this is stored in different plant parts. That is why plants are examples of autotrophic nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition All animals, fungi and bacteria they derive food either directly or indirectly from the plants and plant products. All animals either directly depend on the plants or indirectly depend on the plants. This is called heterotrophic nutrition. So heterotrophic nutrition can be defined as deriving food from available products of plants either directly or indirectly. Examples all animals, fungi and bacteria. Modes of heterotrophic nutrition. First one is holozoic nutrition. It is consuming of whole food by the animals. This food can be either in solid state or liquid state. Examples all animals. Saprobic nutrition. It is a method of absorbing decaying organic matter. Some animals perform saprobic nutrition apart from fungi and some microbes. Parasitic mode of nutrition. It is a method of obtaining food at the cost of other organisms called hosts and sometimes they may harm the host also. Examples Tinea solium, Plasmodium, Ascaris, Entamoeba, Bacteria and Viruses. Mixotrophic nutrition. In Euglena, during daytime, that is when there is light, it performs photosynthesis. It is called autotrophic nutrition. Otherwise, it can perform holozoic nutrition also. So, Euglena is able to perform both autotrophic as well as holozoic nutrition. That is why it is called mixotrophic nutrition.